Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving chemistry and biochemistry as they relate to biology. In this video, I'll be describing some of the most important properties of water. The picture on this slide shows five water molecules consisting of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms apiece. It also provides some vocabulary that will be explained throughout the rest of this video. Water is composed of two atoms of hydrogen bonded to an oxygen atom. There are two water molecules shown in the picture to the right. Oxygen is shown as a red ball, while the hydrogen atoms are shown as white balls. This type of bond that connects these atoms is covalent. The hydrogens and the oxygen share atoms and form a very strong bond. The oxygen and hydrogens, however, do not share the negatively charged electrons exactly evenly. The oxygen atom pulls at the electrons more than the hydrogen atoms do. As a result, the oxygen has a partially negative charge, while the hydrogens have a partially positive charge. Because of this, the molecule is referred to as polar. Different regions of the molecule have different charges. In this picture, it's exhibited with the symbols delta plus and delta minus, which have been highlighted in the picture here. The delta in this circumstance means partial. There is a partial negative and a partial positive charge in different segments of the molecule. This polarity that water possesses gives it a number of important qualities. First, polar substances such as water can easily dissolve other polar compounds or ionically bonded compounds. Because so many compounds contain ionic or polar covalent bonds, water is referred to as a universal solvent. Many things can and commonly are dissolved in water, both in nature and in lab settings. Secondly, this polarity, this partial positive and negative charge that water possesses at different segments, causes a slight attraction between different water molecules. These weak attractions between two different molecules, highlighted in the picture to the right, form what are called hydrogen bonds. These hydrogen bonds are responsible for the intense pain that you suffer from a belly flop, uh, the slight attractions between water molecules that prevent you from just passing through water unscathed. Hydrogen bonds also play important roles in other biological concepts that will be discussed on the next slide and in other units throughout the year. Another important quality of water is that it takes a tremendous amount of energy to heat it up compared to most other substances on Earth, and this is caused by hydrogen bonding. The way to describe this scientifically is by saying that water has a very high specific heat. Specific heat is the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one milliliter of a substance one degree Celsius. Water has a specific heat that's very high at about one. Wood would have a specific heat of about 0.42, and gold has a specific heat of 0.03. It would take about three times as much energy to heat up the same amount of water as it would wood, and about 33 times as much energy to heat up the same amount of water as gold. The impact of this high specific heat is shown in the graphic to the right. There is a tremendous amount of energy that goes into changing the water state of matter from solid to liquid and liquid to gas. The reason that this relates to the hydrogen bonds formed between water is that all of these hydrogen bonds must be broken or changed before the form of the matter can change. Most living things are made up in excess of 70% of water. Being made of such a high percentage of a substance with such a high specific heat prevents organisms from heating up or cooling down too quickly. This is a regulation of internal conditions that's referred to as homeostasis, and it will be described in detail next to unit. Two properties that are the result of polarity and hydrogen bonding are cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is the attractive force between two like substances. The top picture exhibits what we just discussed on the previous slide, water being attracted to itself. If you'd prefer to think of something that you're more familiar with, imagine a magnet sticking to another magnet. Adhesion is the attraction between two different or unlike substances. The picture on the bottom shows water bubbling over a penny. The only reason that the water doesn't spill off the penny is that the water is sticking to the surface of the penny as well as the rest of the water. Cohesion and adhesion are both exhibited in this picture. If you'd like another example, a better visual example, a magnet sticking to a refrigerator might help. About 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Much of the water is in temperate and polar regions that freeze at some point in the year. If water were to sink when it froze, the effects on aquatic life could be pretty devastating. Water is one of the minority of substances on Earth that is less dense as a solid than a liquid. 
Because of this, ice insulates bodies of water such as lakes, preserving the life beneath the surface instead of killing the organisms that are found below. That is the end of this video summarizing some of the most important properties of water. If you're interested in learning about any other chemistry or biochemistry concepts as they relate to biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.